Hi. Welcome back. I'm breaking down every song on Elliot Smith's self-titled album. In this video, we're taking a look at the fifth track, Single File. As always, I'm going to be focusing on the guitar part. The point of this project is to figure out how to play these songs the way Elliot played them. With all of his weird tunings and unique chord voicings, the only way to make sure I'm getting the guitar parts right is watching videos and watching his left hand. Sometimes it takes some digging, not just to find a video of him playing a certain song, but to find one that's clear enough that you can see what he's doing. But this is the only song on the whole album I haven't found a single live video. I posted on Reddit about it as well, and as far as I know, there isn't a live video of him playing single file. Thankfully, I'm not the only one who loves this song. After working on my own transcription, I looked up covers on YouTube and found this one in particular that was amazing. This whole channel, Project New Moon, I definitely want to shout out. The guitar parts and chord charts in this video are almost exactly the same as Project New Moon's cover. There are a couple things I think are a little different. Even though there's no live videos of him playing this song, I was able to find a live recording on YouTube this video live at La Luna. You can hear the guitar really clearly in this performance, and I use this recording mainly in putting this transcription together. Another cool thing about this recording is it seems to be an early version with slightly different lyrics than the ones on the album. So now let's get into the guitar parts. I broke the song up into four sections intro, verse, chorus, and ending. Let's look at the intro. The tuning is D standard, which means you tune all the strings down a whole step from standard E tuning. A helpful tip I got from Project New Moon's cover video is to use your pinky in this D minor shape, which leaves your ring finger free to hit the bass line. There are some really cool chord shapes in this section, but it starts with a couple normal bar chords. from the verse to the chorus is one of my favorite parts of the song. The chorus is very similar to the intro, but the timing of the chords is a little different. There's also a few chords that are unique to the chorus, like this one. goes back to the verse. The guitar part is the exact same as the first verse, it just repeats a little longer. At the end of the second chorus, we go on to this ending section.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Coming up roses coming up next.